Good morning all. In this day and age, there's an app or patch for everything, even Reiki. But what does that mean, you may ask? What is an app or a patch for Reiki? Well, an app or patch is an additional something which allows you to enhance a function or ability to increase and expand the original function's capabilities. For example, use your intuition as an aerial, so to speak, and it'll guide you to pick out whichever energy variation, app or patch, you might like to incorporate with what you're doing in that moment. As you already know, using the Reiki symbols will aid you in quickly fine-tuning the vibration of Reiki energy you're intending to use, or you can choose to add another completely different therapy or energy variation altogether. For example, combining Reiki with something else like EFT or crystals charged with Reiki. Just always trust your intuition, your into you ition. For trusting yourself will allow you to make the right decision for you at the right time and also guide you to make the right decision for the situation at hand too. Because if your intuition is strong and well developed and you trust yourself, You'll sense through your emotional radar system and grok the fullness of circumstances super quick. But that's also the joy and experience of carrying out a Reiki self-treatment for yourself each day too, especially if you do it as you drift off to sleep. You see, being responsible for your own health and well-being really is of paramount importance. In fact, there's no getting around it. And as Reiki is just so simple to use and so very, very beneficial for you, it makes the perfect choice for doing exactly that. Plus, it'll enhance or blend with just about any other therapy you can think of too. In fact, having other healthy strings to your Reiki bow even works in your favour as a long-term money saver as well. Just think, if you can keep yourself happy, healthy, wealthy and wise, then just think of all the money you'll be saving. No massive medical bills, no regular insurance or doctor checkups, no time off for being ill. <laughs> just lots of money for having fun adventures in your life. Perfect. And that brings me nicely to a question. But this week's question turned out to be more of a conversation. <clears throat> I'm qualified and registered as a natural healer, and I'm very interested in the course you're offering. This might sound like a strange question, but how would Chikara Reikido work with my existing healing capacities? I'm keen to understand if I would be able to work with the different energies at different times and still keep my existing healing methods separate to the Reiki. I'm concerned that once attuned, I'd only be able to work with Reiki. There is only one energy, but there are many different ways to use, demonstrate and feel it. And Reiki is a key to using the one energy. Just as you can use Tai Chi, Qigong, Quantum Touch, EFT, Acupuncture, Homeopathy, Herbs, Yoga, etc. 
so it is with Reiki. Therefore, you can use your Reiki energy as an independent standalone therapy or join it together with another expression of energy. One of your choice. Just remember, the methods and techniques may all be different, but you, the actual source of the energy, the connecting rod, remain the same. So you're saying that once I've gone through the process of attunement, it's possible to focus on or work with the relevant energies as needed and be selective. I've always been concerned that Reiki might permanently bend your aerial to receive only Reiki, so to speak. I've always resisted Reiki, but I'm inexplicably drawn to the system you offer. I think your approach is brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> I'm also super sensitive. If I worked with the system you offer, can I take it as slowly as required? Use your intuition as your guide to pick out whichever expression of your energy is the best fit at any given moment. You then use your intention to send it where you want it to go. Using the Reiki symbols will aid you in quickly fine-tuning the vibration of Reiki energy you're intending to use, or you can choose to do another therapy altogether, or combine Reiki with something else like EFT or aromatherapy massage. But always trust your intuition. Trusting yourself will allow you to make the right decision for you at the right time and also guide you to make the right decision for the situation at hand too. As for being super sensitive, this means you'll sense through your emotional radar system and grok the fullness super quick. Always trust your super sensitive ability Nurture and develop it. Being super sensitive allows you to be super strong and decisive, not a wishy-washy <laughs> individual with feathers and the vapours. You know what's right for you and I trust your judgment implicitly, including the pace you do things. Trust, trust, trust for there are no accidents. Even before you ask, it is given. If you like crystals, then do a course and add Reiki charge crystals to your Reiki routine. If you love plants and herbs, then do a herbal course and add Reiki blessed herbs into your Reiki day. If you love healing others, then add as many patches and energy applications as you deem necessary for the fullest exploration of your skills and talent. It'll only increase your abilities exponentially and do wonders for your self-confidence. <laughs> Synchronicity in all things. Becoming a Reiki master simply means you love Reiki the best and use it as your foundation upon which to build. It will ground you and keep your energy, however expressed, steadfast and true. Blooming marvellous. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you very much.